Batch practice analyzer is a tool that runs a script or set of rules against a Power BI data set or data model to check the performance issues. And this is going to help you to improve the performance of your Power BI reports or dashboards. But what if you have to run it against the whole tenant? How can you do that? Well, in this video, I'm going to let you know how you can achieve it. So if you want to know more, please stay tuned with me till the end of this video. Hi there, welcome to BI Consulting Pro. My name is Ajay Kumar and I create all the contents on Microsoft Power BI and Azure. So if you would like to know more, please consider to subscribe this channel and hit the bell icon for all the latest videos and updates. Before proceeding further, I would like to say special thanks to Dave from Modern Data and AI who creates this wonderful blog where I got to know how to run BPA against the whole tenant. So, I'll provide you a link in the description section if you would like to know more. But now let's head over to my laptop and I'm going to let you know what are the prerequisites and how you can achieve it. And not only that, how you can also utilize the template file to generate your own report. So, what are you waiting for? Let's get started. Before we start, there are certain prerequisites that you should have. First of all, you need to create a service principal account. If you don't have, please create it. I have already created one video where I have explained how to create user service principal account on Azure. So if you haven't watched it, please watch it. I'll provide you a link in the description section. From there, you can get client ID, secret and tenant ID. After that, you need to add that service principal account as an admin or member to the desired workspaces. If you don't know how to do that, I'm going to show you in a minute. Then also you have to grant certain permissions and I suggest go with the least privilege permission policy. Next, your workspace should be on V2 that is version V2. All the new workspaces in Power BI are already on V2 but please make sure that is on V2. And at last, you should use Power BI premium capacity workspaces only. You can use PPU or premium capacity. That's all right but pro license workspaces won't work for this one because that works on XML connectivity. Now I'm on my Power BI service portal or there we have to go to a workspace where we want to run this. So we are going to run against demo which is on premium capacity. Over here you can see the access I have given to this PCP BPA app. That is my service principal account. So you need to add it over there as a member or as an admin. I have added it as an admin that you can see it over here clearly. Next step you have to go to your Power BI admin portal and over there you have to also add the same service principal account for the developer settings where we are using the API. So let me search with API only. And here you see the developer settings. So here you need to add that service principal account where you can see that I have already added this Power BI service principal account. This is really necessary. Without that also it's not going to work. So these are the necessary settings that you need to do before starting this process. That means before starting running your BPA script against the tenant. If you would like to add the service principal account to all the workspaces, for example, you have hundreds of workspaces, for that also we have a script and you can run it. Now we are good to start. So first of all, you have to open Windows PowerShell ISC in admin mode. So right click on this and run it as an administrator. So now we have to just open the desired script that we would like to run. Click OK. And I believe this is my script which is already there that I was trying to run previously. And we can run this one over here. So let me see. Yes. So over here also guys, I'm not taking any credit of this one because this is created by Dev. And he has written a very beautiful blog. So let me show you over there. So here you would find this blog where he has mentioned each and everything and I'm really impressed with his knowledge and I thought it would be really great if I can create a video on the top of that and I can run it personally. I did it and it worked so I thought to share my knowledge with you guys. So there. Also on my Azure portal I have created this app or service principal account already where you can see my client ID or app ID is there, tenant ID is over here, object ID is there and after that you also need secret. So for that you have to come under this certificates and secrets here you have to add it and you need to copy this value. So please don't forget that. Without that it's not going to work. Secondly what you have to do you have to come under your resource group and you have to choose which resource group you would like to use or where you have created that particular service principal account. 
For example, in this case, we have created this under BCP demo. So click over here. And here you have to come under this access control where you have to provide all the necessary privileges to this particular service principal account, whether it can read, write or anything. So we have already done that. So you can see that it's going to load. And this is the account that I'm using BCP BPA app. So it has a read access. And if you like to know more, you can click over here. All right. Now let's get back to our script part. So as I mentioned, this is the script that we need to run. And we have to provide certain inputs to this script. So please make sure that you have already all the necessary or the prerequisite information with you. Otherwise, it's not going to work. Once you've done that, then you have to simply click on this button, run script or press F5. It's going to ask you your application ID or client ID. So let me copy and paste it over here. Now it's going to ask you to specify the secret of the service principal. In this case, please do remember that it is not asking for the service principal secret ID. It's asking secret value. So we have to copy from here and put it over there. Now I'm going to paste it over here. Click OK. And now at last you have to also provide the tenant ID over here. So let's copy from here. This is my tenant ID. And here you go. That's all you need to do. Now it's going to run the script. And once it's going to run successfully, after that, it's going to open one Power BI template file that you can use to create Microsoft Power BI report as well, where you are going to get certain ratings about that. And now you can see that my script has been completed. And now Microsoft Power BI template file is getting open where I have to provide the necessary inputs over here. Over here on your screen, you can see that BPA insights, that means best practice analyzer analysis insights. Then it's going to take a sample file as an input. Then others are also the parameters where you can set or you can change the value of them. But what are these values and what can be the range of these values that you can adjust and check with the help of that blog post by Dave? All right, guys. But before going into this, we have to also check whether it has downloaded one folder or not. So let's go over here. Here we have to go to the C drive. There should be one folder. And here we can see that Power BI underscore BPAA output. So we need this folder because it has downloaded everything inside it. And we also need to copy some of the parts. So what I'm going to do, I'm just going to copy this part. I know this, so that's why I'm copying it. But in your case also, you can go into the Power Query Advanced Editor where you can change the different parts. So let me open this and here I'm going to go and click on edit. If I'm going to load it directly, it's going to show me error because there are some of the parts that has been changed. Now we have to replace them one by one. So first of all, I'm going to go to this data set and here I'm going to go to the advanced query part. And this is the path that I need to change. So let me copy and paste and then it should take it automatically. Now you can see that it's working fine. Same. Probably I have to do it over here. So let me change it here too. So this is simply the parts. It's the date and the number that is being changed. So we have to update that. That's all I'm doing over here. Now let me check report is okay. No need for that. Now let's go to the sample file. All right, transform file. So there's the parameter. Okay, so there's one more path that we need to change. So please hold on. We'll do that. Okay, guys, as I just mentioned that whenever you are trying to load this file, it's going to give you some error. And now we are going to go step by step and check what error is happening. And I know why it is there, but let's go. So first step, everything is all right. Filter step is also okay because it's going to check for the .trx extension file that we have to use for this as a sample file. And then once it goes to the invoke one, it has to invoke a function over there, then expand the table. So here we are going to encounter this error where it's trying to expand it the table column one. But okay, guys, now you can see that we have an error. So we have to go into this that why this error is occurring. And over here, it's simply saying that we couldn't find the folder D, OneDrive, this, this, all premium workspaces where you have BP outputs. So we have to check where are those BP outputs. And here I can see that if I'll go in this folder, and then under this folder, we have this BP output folder. So this is the folder that we have to use it over there. So let's get back over there. And here we have to provide it 
somewhere where this sample file is there so this is my sample file here i have to change the path of this folder so i don't need this and i can simply click on done and here you can see that this is taking this file at number zero source is zero now let's come back over here again and now my query is running fine there's no problem so let's check this unit test as well this is running fine and this is also running fine now everything has been done so please do remember that once you download this folder into your c drive first you have to change path till there and at last to get the sample file because sample files are over here then you have to check this path as well so if you will go any of the workspaces which are my different workspaces that i have already added my service principal account that's why it runs against all the workspaces all the .trx files are over here that's why you need to change the path at different places over there please watch it again if you don't remember it but this is how we have to do it now you have to simply close and apply and after you can see that the report is appearing in front of you that means now you have done it you have run best practice analyzer against the tenant inside your organization you can automate the whole process and you can get to know how much ratings you are going to get for each of the workspaces which is over here and this has been done on the basis of blog written by dev from moderndata.ai so that's why i'm not going to change it guys definitely credit goes to him and i am so happy to share this knowledge with you guys in case you want to modify this you can modify the layout according to your organization you can publish it into one of your workspaces which i have also done it already for myself but in case you have any question or concern regarding this please do let me know in the comment section and if you are over here for the very first time please don't forget to subscribe this channel and hit the bell icon for all the latest contents on microsoft power bi and microsoft azure see you in the next video